Hey everybody, how you do today? So we're gonna do something a little bit different than we usually do and I really just want to I want to have fun today I want to have fun I don't want to have to necessarily focus on all the crazy stuff that's going on out in the world so we're gonna take a look today at YouTube culture so what I mean about YouTube culture well you know I, I watch a lot of things that aren't necessarily in the same genre as the the types of videos that I make and don't get me wrong like I, I watch I watch everybody's videos I really do but when I'm not doing that and when I'm not researching other other things that I need to be making videos on there are certain types of channels that I really really enjoy and a lot of them are very very underground sort of stuff um, in some cases it's outsider art uh, like um, like Crispin Glover style really interesting and kind of out there videos and then I also really like some you know sweet uh, family vlogging style things just when I really need to smile because in this job you do it long enough and things can really start to weigh down on you so i like to i like to change it up a bit so i'm going to share with you some of the stuff that i watch so let's start off with the classic one this this is frankie mcdonald okay guys let's do some cloudy thin raining pizzas oh it's such a nice day but it's hot and sunny day right now i better go for a walk since it's beautiful tide and the skies are blue and the birds are flying up in the sky um, I can see clouds up in the sky it's clouding over now it's thunder and lightning outside I better get out my umbrella oh my god it's raining pizzas <laughs> Now, you might have heard of Frankie McDonald before. He was featured by uh, Philip DeFranco a while ago. And this, this young man basically wants nothing more in his life than to be a weatherman. This is Frankie McDonald, my own TV station live in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Major winter storm is headed towards Wisconsin on Friday, February 24th, 2017. But in between his noble efforts to try and be a weatherman, he also does such things as imaginary uh, food eating contests, as well as showing off some of his dance moves. And if there's one thing I really, really enjoy about Frankie is when I'm having a really hard day, I can go and I can watch his videos. And because he's just such a sweet and honest person, uh, that open and, and honest and, and friendly demeanor, and I, I can't help but smile every time I watch him. Ray Sipe, Lady Gaga. <sighs> I don't really know quite what to say about Ray Sype. He's a, an, an older gentleman who basically likes to play around with construction paper and do really quick skits. Uh, is mayonnaise an instrument? And I wouldn't say all of his videos are funny. And I wouldn't say that half of them are funny. I'd say that a lot of them are just kind of bizarre. Vape Nation. Vape Nation. Going green. And a little a little hard to follow, but every now and then, when he nails it, it's just such an amazingly funny non sequitur, like this one. Isis, it's a me, a Mario. I'm gonna take a you down. Gail Cord Schuler. We have an emergency. The Jesuits are about to launch a nuclear bomb that has semen in it that will infect everyone. We need our scientists all over the world to help us stop this bomb. And also, it's, it's going to be like Jesuit Bukaki in a nuclear bomb, and it's headed towards Canada, where Judge Terrence Jenkins is right now. In these days of media distrust and not really being able to know who you can really go to for the truth, it's nice to know that a woman like Gail Cord Schuler is out there. While she herself and her men have the, the Church of Gale spaceship that orbits the Earth and she battles the various different forces of evil, she also is involved very, very heavily in economic policies and uh, health care policies. I remember Jesus and my men, this discuss, well, especially my men, we, whenever we had to replace like an arm or something that got damaged because once Brent had a heart attack and they had to replace his arm, 
and they tried to replace it with a clone arm and they found out that arm had like a mind of its own apparently anything that uses cloning technology is inherently evil she basically puts out lots of edicts in which uh, we we as the uh, as the people uh, under siege by the evil Jesuit menace, uh, should really be paying attention to because Gail is brilliant. She's also a very, very accomplished author. And let me tell you, if you really, really want to understand the magic of penis lasers, Gail's your woman. Zack Knight found that he could use his penis, he's got the perfect penis, he could use it like a laser to encase Angelina Ballerina in a cocoon. The Dyson Show. There's a weird kind of humor, and I like to call it anti-humor, where if you watch something that is so unfunny, it becomes the funniest goddamn thing on the planet. And in that way, I, I want to share with you one of my favorite channels. It's just so... I don't know. It's hard to explain. So I'm, I'm going to show you me watching one of these, and maybe you'll kind of start to understand why I like him so much. It, it's... I don't know. <laughs> Hey folks, <laughs> here I am in my self-driving truck today, I'm ready to do a show for you. <clears throat> don't worry, it's going to be driving so I don't have to look. Uh, take me to the store, will you? Okay, uh, there's a guy at work who's living in the past. Yeah, he keeps threatening to beat me up after school. Ah. Uh. <laughs> I told my boss that I had no way to get to work today. Yeah, my self-driving car called in sick. Ah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Why did Lassie go and see a psychiatrist? Because Timmy told her to go get help. <laughs> Why? I asked my self-driving car to take me out tonight. It said, no, I have a head gasket. Ah, oh. ah! Oh. I have a friend who's crazy, and do you know what that nutcase sent me? A case of nuts. That's so dumb. Was running his oh. In the winter, the self-driving car told my uncle that it wanted to make antifreeze. It told my uncle it wanted to make it. They asked me why I always bring my wife to work with me. I said because I told her that I would never leave her. Ah. Francis Johnson. I've been I've been watching this channel for uh, I guess I guess maybe like a, a year and a half maybe two, maybe two years I think pretty much since it was it was started I don't remember how the fuck I found it and I still don't know what it's about. I, I think the guy sells t-shirts. I think. I Take a look. So anyway, that's just a little uh, little sample platter of some of the uh, the weird outsider things that I tend to pay attention to on the internet. Uh, some some different types of content to to watch and maybe experience if you need a break from from the the politics or the social justice or the whatever. Uh, it's just kind of nice to to take a step back and and kind of watch something a little weird or maybe just something a little honest or just something kind of fun. Thanks for taking this little journey with me. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time. Oh, damn. Let's see what's going on, on the internet today. Wait a minute, what's this? 
My buddy Rucka Bruck Ali was in a fucking, in a dance show? What the shit? I didn't know Rucka could dance. What's up y'all, it's your boy Dietrich. Welcome back to another season of Dance Showdown, where we're taking four of the biggest digital stars and having them compete in dance challenges for the grand prize of $10,000. Oh, I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is like, uh, like, like YouTubers, so you think you can dance kind of thing, or yeah, something like that. Lord, this day you ain't heard of me. How I grind so hard over these beats. Real cold Eskimo when I'm on the street, but the rhythm and the bass beat my heart beat. Damn, that dude's got some fucking moves. This day you ain't heard of me. How I cry right, so hard right, over right. these beats. Real cold Eskimo when I'm on the street, but the rhythm and the bass beat my heart beat. Everybody got their hands down, move your feet. Dance floor DJ and you and me. Oh shit, look at Rucka go, alright. Need to do like one, two, three, ABC. I'm trying to act sensibly. Sensibly, I drive my car. Sensibly, I go to work. Sensibly, I wear my clothes. Sensibly, I take my drugs. Man, that girl is cute. Gentlemen, we made our decision on who's winning dance showdown. Please make your way to the dance floor. I don't know why, but I really shouldn't be this emotionally invested in a dancing show, but this is kind of exciting. I wonder who's gonna win. Congratulations to both you guys for making it this far. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh shit, it's down to Rucka and some other dude. What the fuck? Oh man, who's gonna get it? Who's gonna get it? This was a tough decision, but again, there could only be one dance showdown winner. The winner of Dance Showdown and the winner of the grand prize of $10,000 will go to. Hey baby, can I talk to you? Story, bro. I'm a dangerous coder. I started at nine, now I'm getting much older, and the media's just getting bigger. No one's getting shot if I say the word whoa there. And I can say pretty much anything. Ain't got enough porn for a night of jacking. The world outside is dark and cold. I'll just stay inside like a little good troll. Hey now, you're an alt right. Get your keyboard, go. Hey, hey now, you're an S chow. Get your bone on, get gay. We're all tough heroes and trolls. As long as you don't gotta leave your 